Well, this is probably not going to be the most exciting Squarespace tutorial that I make, but it's a necessary one. Managing your billing information on the back end of your Squarespace website is something that everyone will have to do at some point in time or another. Whether that be changing your subscription that you have, uh, either upgrading it or downgrading it, changing your payment information, maybe you need to put your uh, Squarespace plan on a different card, or accessing invoices. You might need to get an invoice printed out or uh, send a PDF of an invoice to your accountant for tax purposes. So let's head on over to my demo website and get into the back end of it and look at exactly how to manage each of these items. All right, so Squarespace is always changing things up in this menu over here, uh, but at the time of the recording of this video, you should be able to go into your settings and then go billing and then you have access to your payment information your subscription your invoices but before we get into that i'm going to show you something real quick that will allow, always allow you to find this information or any information no matter what they do with the menu over here so keyboard shortcut all you have to do is hit the forward slash uh, so that same key on your keyboard as the question mark and then you can search whatever you want from the setting so in this instance we're going to go billing so just type, type out the first part of the word there and then you can click on billing and it takes you over to the same place so a little bonus for you there so like i said in the beginning you have three things here that you can manage your payment information okay and so you can add a payment method and go through and add it add your street address save that and let's see here let's go let's see if it'll let me add fake address don't need to be telling you people where I live. All right, so Google suggested this one. We'll use it. So we'll go save billing address. And then you'll see you can just start entering in your cardholder name, card number, the expiration date, and your three-digit code that you have on the back of your card and save the payment method. So I'm going to go back to billing. So that takes care of adding payment information, information in there. Um, if you're just adding a subscription for the first time, uh, it will go. It will make you do that just by going into this. So I'm going to show you subscriptions right now. That this demo website is on a trial, and so if I wanted to subscribe, so you would go to the same thing. If uh, if your website was already on a subscription, if you wanted to upgrade or downgrade your subscription, you still go into the same place here. You go to the website, and then uh, you would have an option in here to change your plan. But for me, with it being on a this being on a, a trial uh, basis right now, you would just hit subscribe, and then it's going to take you to the same place. So, uh, building a website with me as a uh, Squarespace Circle member saves twenty percent. But then you also you can see the different amounts here. So, like as a uh, on some of these plans, you save twenty seven percent annually there, save thirty percent annually there. These two big savings of thirty six percent annually if you go with an annual plan now these prices right here that they're showing you is a per month price of like what it would break down to per month if you choose the annual subscription this is the most popular plan it works for probably 95 percent of my clients the only ones that it doesn't is if someone like maybe an artist that just has a portfolio and that's all that they need um, they don't need any anything like with custom uh, javascript or html added to their website they don't need a store, anything like that. So it shows you all the options that you have and don't have here with each plan. But like I said, most of the time it's this one. So we'll choose it for the purposes of this. And you can see here, like if you were to pay monthly, it ends up, it's $36 a month. But doing the annual plan, it ends up being $220.80 for the whole year, which breaks down to the $18.40 per month. So confirm that selection. And like I said, it goes through and it, it's going to ask for that payment information. If I had already had that information entered from the step that I just showed you before, it would automatically have that in there and you could just get save and continue. And you can see it breaks it down over here. Move myself out of the way a little bit more. You can see the, the discounts, the, and how it ends up with that total. So going back to billing, get out of that go back to billing here and the last thing that we talked about was being able to see invoices so you have no invoices 
if you're on the, uh, depending on what plan you're on, once you get on a plan, you'll have invoices here, either monthly invoices or an annual invoice. So you'd have that first one and then you'll start getting them monthly and you'll be able to select from any of these invoices and you could print it from that point. You could print it out. You could download it as, as a PDF, do whatever you needed to do with it. That's where you'll find your invoices if you need one for an accountant or that type of thing. So if you found this useful, please leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this one. And if you'd like me to build your website for you and save that extra 20%, you can find my contact information in the description below.